Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today we're going to check out SEO Tester Online. This is an SEO tool that we could get so we can check out how our websites are doing. Now, I'm just, I just got to say this out to everyone who uses SEO tools. The tool is just going to be as good as what you want it to be or the, the energy you apply to it. So you're going to get a whole bunch of suggestions of what you should do with your website and it's just going to depend on you what you do with those suggestions. So this, EOS, this is SEO Tester Online, this is their, their landing page and then I just want to show you a quick overview of the pricing plan that they have. I'm, on, I'm in the professional version, you can see this one right here, but they also have a personal version and a business version. It's just going to depend on what limits you need because audits, for example, everything just changes depending on the plan you have. So this is my dashboard, you can see I'm in the pro plan and you can see how much I've used it so far over here. This is a test account. And these are the tools you have on the left side. I just want to say something that I liked about this tool is that it's mobile friendly. So you can open it up in your Android on your iPhone and it's just going to work perfectly in the web browser that you use it with. Okay, so first thing we got over here is the SEO checker. We can just check any site that we want. And it's going to start doing an analysis. Let's wait for it to finish. And like I said, it's going to give you a whole bunch of suggestions. It's like an overview of what it looks like. This is the percentage I got, 76.7 .7 out of 100. So it's a pretty good percentage. And let's just check out what information we have. We have basic information. And you can see all these things that I should apply to the website so I can make it more SEO friendly and have a better ranking on Google, Bing, and other search engines. So you can see Google snippet and this is the percentage I have. Title, so it made a description, no H1, so I get a zero there, H2, yeah, Earl Keys. It's just going to give you all this information. Let's check out content, content, you can see, title coherence, H1 coherence. So you can see there's a bunch of suggestions that people should work on or whatever is the suggestion for your website that you should work on. This is a client's website, so this is something I can really, it's going to really help me out to tell my client what he needs get to get done and show them that he really needs to, uh, 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 what do you call it, get my service for SEO. Check out speed, 86 out of 100, not bad. Social, these are social rankings, you see Facebook, it's not, it's not detecting the, the social media because it does have so little work on that. And we can download a PDF. Uh, be aware, I'm over here on the dashboard, check it out. PDFs, number of PDFs exports, so I'm in the professional version, I have 20 exports of these for a month. So have that in mind. SEO Spider, you can see I've checked out some, some websites over here, let's just open this one right here. And let's see what the base is. So what it does is, it does, it checks out all the webs, all your sites, and see what the ranking is for most of them. So you can see there are 230 duplicate, duplicated pages out of 383. So let's check in a whole bunch of them. We have found 372 title duplicated of your domain. Let's check out content. So you can see we have found 122 pages with less than 400 words. So it's doing like the whole spider search on your site. And you can see that information on the back. Let's go back here, SEO spider. And this is 500 pages that it checked on. This is also a limit that it has due to the dashboard. I'm in the professional version. So you can see spiders, we got 50K limit. And let's go over to Keyword Explorer. Now, this is something that you wanna compare keywords. So for example, you know what? I'm thinking of writing a blog or a business or whatever. I'm gonna write a blog on iPhone. on that and this is going to give me an overview of how difficult this is how many cost how much is the cost per click if i wanted to advertise that keyword this is how many monthly volume views this is and for example hey you know what i want to refine this a little bit let's go to iphone x and i can add another comparison you can see right here red is iphone x and the blue is iPhone, obviously, because this iPhone is like the title and it's going to be way more uh, difficult to get it ranking or have a cost per click. Um, if you want to check out Samsung, 
you can see yellow is Samsung. So you can check out the keywords and like I said, what you do with this information, it's how important this is gonna be for you or, or how you're gonna rec recuperate your ROI. All right, let's go to SEO editor. Let's create a new optimization. Now this is a quick overview of everything. I'm gonna be doing some basic tutorials on how to use these very well. Uh, write a keyword, let's just say, like I said, let's do the iPhone. That's the keyword. Which ones do I want to add? Okay, I want to add the newest one, like iPhone SE, X, X Max, um, the iPhone X, iPhone XR, and these are the keywords that I want to use. And you can see the monthly searches that these keywords have. Let's go next. Now we go to the editor. And what this editor does is give you a whole bunch of suggestions of how good you're doing on your article to give you like a percentage. Let's just say if I put the title iPhone iPhone X tutorial. Okay, so my score went up 15 out of 100. And I'm just gonna start writing a whole bunch of things and I'm gonna write iPhone, that was wrong, okay, iPhone and the iPhone X. And you can see the score is, is going up, but it's, it measures a whole bunch of things. You can see statistics right here. Ease of reading, obviously, because it's not much words. It's 100 out of 100. Number of words, 12. Reading time, 0.2 minutes. Potential traffic. Let's check out title. Title is bad. It got 80, 80%, 88. On headline, you can see, add H1. Add your keywords more often with him. And you can see all this information that it gives you. So you can write your blog right here and it'll give you like the suggestions that you should, you should have. And once you get at 100, it's gonna be way better to rank on Google. And copy metrics. Check this out. So what it's gonna do is fetch from our URL. Let's head over and you can select the country. We're gonna leave it United States. And let's just go to Hootsuite. Example, Hootsuite, here's a blog gonna get this blog right here gonna copy the link gonna put it here and it's gonna analyze it and this could be something that you could do from a competitor see if they have a really good ranking uh, page and see why it's doing that there we go <clears throat> so now it's giving us the heat map of how many which one is the keyword that's mostly used and it's gonna give rank it a red yellow and green you see this this is the article from over here this blog post from Hootsuite and like I said if this was a competitor blog that they had and you can see why it's ranking so let's let's just see why these are the main topics right here you can see how the potential target 1550 reading time 20 minutes average cost per click if you wanted to rank on these keywords and total words 4031 which is a really long blog post we can change the country if that works because it's going to change the cost per click and if, if, if it's harder to rank on another search from another country. Well guys, this is an overview for this SEO tester online tool that we have right here. I hope you like this video. If you found it interesting and helpful, the, the affiliate link is going to be in the description. Thanks for watching guys. This is SaaS Master.